Hi, my name is Steve Wintemar. I'm a faculty physician at the IU School of Medicine. I'm also a member of the medical staff at several IU affiliated teaching hospitals. My third role is that of director of IEPY Campus Health. In that role, I'm working with others in the IU system to ensure the safety of the faculty, staff, and students at IU regarding Ebola viral disease. Though there have been sporadic outbreaks of Ebola since 1976, West Africa is now in the midst of the worst outbreak of Ebola in history. Ebola is considered widespread in three countries, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. That's the bad news. What's the good news? Ebola is actually not easily transmitted from person to person. Only individuals with Ebola who are having symptoms can transmit the disease. Even those individuals are unlikely to transmit the disease since transmission relies on contact of blood or body fluids to broken skin or mucous membranes. The situation in the United States is consistent with these facts. As of today, October 27, 2014, only four cases of Ebola have been diagnosed in the U.S. Two cases were individuals who contracted the disease while in Liberia. The other two were healthcare workers who contracted the disease while caring for the first Ebola patient diagnosed in the U.S. None of that first patient's family members became infected, even though he was living with them when he became sick. None have been diagnosed in Indiana. IU is closely monitoring the recommendations of public health officials. The IU affiliated hospitals and campus health centers are implementing procedures to protect their workers and students. The procedures are based on those at Emory Hospital in Atlanta, considered the country's best prepared hospital for Ebola. We need to remain aware of Ebola, but not panic about it. There is no reason to panic. Thank you for your attention.